30th anniversary rolls in, I hope we have new windows. We're going to remodel the windows. We've already talked about it. I'm just going to have to firm some things up. The same people that are helping us. Oh, such an amazing crew. They said, you know, look, look how ugly your windows are. And I said, I agree. After they painted everything, they said, look at how ugly. And I wanted to go outside and go, look how ugly the windows are. Compared to what's happening all around. And I said, yes, Lord, new windows. New windows. And then we have a plan to put a basketball court in front. Which will double as parking, yes. But I would like for your young people to come. Just like when we were growing up here in this church. We didn't go home because we scrimmage. Every day we went and we scrimmage. And I'm hoping that we can do that. Is that going to cost some money? Yes, it will. But God is good that way. And I'm going to believe in faith. There are plans, of course. We always talked about buying that place across the street. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't given up on that. Most of you that expressed that vision before, I have never, I have never given up on that thought. And one day I would hope that we would be so financially strong that I can do what that person did to me yesterday. Where he said, if you want to sell your church, we're funding in 90 days. I'm hoping that someday we can make them an offer they cannot refuse. You know? Go somewhere else, but we want this place, the adjoining place. I'm believing that. Not in anger, not in discrimination, but knowing that we serve God. We, we want to build a multi-purpose hall in the back, a gymnasium. Aside from the paving of the front, there's also this vision of building housing for the the, the, the unfortunate, you know, for for homeless people. Build this transitional ministry. I'm sharing this with you so you can pray with it. But I am believing, and I hope you would believe with me, especially those of you who are pastors in this church, that someday this generation of pastors, before anyone goes to heaven, we would see this. Do it. Scripture says, God will give your older man rings. I celebrated my birthday recently. I told my dad, said, How old are you? I said, I'm 14. You're old now, son. And so I said, Thank you. It's time for God to give the dreams. So I hope that dream burns eternal until the time that God takes us all. And then, even better dreams. Because then we would be in the presence of God. Oh, I pray we would continue on and serve God as He has called us. Let's all rise as we receive the benediction. Uh, we always have food in the back. We are never potluck. But today I think it's, uh, it's a little better than usual. So I would ask those of you, even if you're in a little bit of a hurry, to please sit down and partake of the food and celebrate with us. Anyway, some of you guys, I need to shake your hands. It's been a long time since I've seen you. We need to make our acquaintance and we need to meet. It is customary in this church that we give the benediction and it goes like this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to all of you. To you, children, to your children's children, to your children's children's children.